It has been so long since I played this. Mm, met her end. I barely remember what's going met on. Met her end. Someone left this message here for me. It's a little conceited. Not everything's about you. Smell sea of flowers. Let's look it's at the them first. It's the red side flower. Must be hundreds of them here. I'm a little concerned that if I sniff them, I'm going to pass out. So much out. for being endangered. Well, let's go ahead and sniff them. Intense. Mm -hmm. oh, they're making me a bit dizzy. That's what I thought. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Greetings! You again. Me again. You better have some answers, Crimson One. All in due time. Your friend is being claimed by the darkness. She's standing on the brink of the abyss as we speak. Are you talking about Eileen? Yes. If you wish to save her, you must descend. Why? What is down there? The tribulation. The reflection of the soul. We call it the mending. Who's we? My kind. Servants of the old god. To what end do you serve this god? What does your kind actually want? All we want is for you to take your medicine, Kathy. Ugh. For you to grow and be happy. If that's the case, why were all those people hurt? Lily? Jimmy? Grandpa? You misunderstand. What one wants and what one is able to do are two different things. Happiness is not a one-way street. It cannot be given only earned. Your grandfather understood that. He embraced it. Wait, you saw Grandpa? Oh yes, right here. He was a tortured soul, desperate for some kind of meaning after losing the light of his life. You. Aww. He sought the power below, the vessel of redemption. But Grandpa didn't make it. He failed. How could I succeed when he wasn't able to? He was so much stronger than me, so much braver. Is that what you believe? Perhaps you don't know him as well as you think. But why me? Why are you making me do this? Because you so desperately need it, Kathy. You're haunted by your past, by all these painful memories long forgotten. They follow you like a shadow, pulling you down. They taint your every thought, impulse, and deep desire. It is foul to us. This is crazy. I could just walk away, get on my bike and drive, forget I was ever here. Sounds good. There's nothing stopping you. Eileen. I can't leave her like that. All right, looks like I we're going to hell. I see now why he so highly of you. Down the rabbit hole. Surreal. It looks like grandma's, but different. <laughs> A little. Hey, where'd all my things go? My pockets are empty. The paintings resemble TV static. Guess the reception down here isn't too good. Let's make a phone call. Seems like a good time to do that. No dial tone. Please sign in. Joseph Rain, Eileen Summers. Looks like Grandpa Catherine and Eileen Rain. have both signed already. Looks like Sign Grandpa then. and Eileen have both signed already. Grandpa's name, my name, and Eileen's name are listed here. August 81, yesterday, and today. The dates all match. Okay, guess I can't sign. Let's check on this lamp. There was a pen hidden inside. Okay. I guess now I can sign. It's a weird place to put a pen. 
let's think about a it's pen. It's fairly sharp. Might have some other uses apart from writing. Okay, I see. Um, it's probably going to be stabbing pen. someone. Plenty of ink inside. Combine pen. What the? Weird. You're not supposed to be here. Who are you? You look just like me. I should ask you the same thing, imposter. Do you like what we did to mom? What? Don't you just want to kill her sometimes? I know I do. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you don't know anything, do you? Now, I'd love to stay and chat, doppelganger, but I have more important things to do. Ta-ta. Okay. The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with padlocks. I don't see how those things work together. Gears are moving behind the window. Am I inside some huge, bizarre machine? Maybe. The elevator is open. Mm, I guess we'll go to level two. The bar. Lots of chalk outlines. I don't even want to think about what happened there. That appears to be blood. That thing looks alive. More, More gears, gears grinding oh, wow. away. Something about them makes me uneasy. Is there nothing else to see in here? Can I, like, walk to the other side of the bar? Yeah. A jukebox. Broken by the looks of it. Nothing is lit up. I wasn't expecting to be able to go in there. Oh my. Oh my god. Mom? You're here? It's mom! She's being held up against the wall by something sticky. I have to get her loose, somehow. No use. It's not sharp enough. Rip bloody wall. It's too tough. I might need something sharp to get it open. There was a scalpel hidden inside the wall. Got it. I don't want to, like, use it on Mom. I want to use it on the stuff behind Mom. There you go, Mom. Are you okay? <laughs> no! <laughs> Gee! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you know, just killed my mom. NBD. Mom! No! What have I done? Ugh. Oh god. Get me out of this place. A refrigerator? Hopes in jar and uh what refrigerator magnets in the shape of scrabble tiles. The score values are off, though. I remember because the game I played with E the other day. Hopes in jar, an inkier heart, rule me nemesis. Not sure what to make of it all. Refrigerator, the score, hope not. Okay, maybe that will come in handy later. 
there's a weird scarab thing in there. Take it. Got it. Thanks. It's the red scarab I found in the refrigerator. When I shake it, I can hear something moving inside. It has a hard shell. I'll need something heavy to break it. Throw it on the ground or something. I don't even want to look. Okay. Mm -mm. That action doesn't seem productive to me. Nothing else in there. Okay, let's go. Looks like a postcard is lying here on the floor. Don't think that was there before. Hi, baby girl. Living the life over here in Mexico. I have a new family now and I've forgotten all about you. I don't regret leaving you for a second since your mom was a whore and I never loved you anyway. All the best, Dad. What a swell man. The sinkhole. Oh no, I don't like this. You killed mom. That wasn't mom, it was some kind of monster. We're all monsters to you, aren't we? Kill her dad. No, it can't be. Who's your daddy now, bitch? What the hell? Stay away from me! Oh my god. It's locked! I can't- I don't see how those- Yes. Can I use this- this on him? I don't see how- Okay, okay. Floor like creaked. As if Just it will fall. Like yeah. I have been angry with you for as long as I can remember. I have hated you more than words can say. I will never forgive you, Dad, but I'm done being angry. I'm done with letting you have an impact on my life. Hello, daughter. I should have done this a long time ago. There are so many things I wish I could say to you. You have two brothers and a sister here. They always ask about you, their big sister in the USA. Leaving you was the biggest mistake I ever made. Please forgive me. Dad. I didn't hear an impact. Does it even have a bottom? So is this crazy doppelganger in here? Mom's gone. Where did that thing go? The body is gone. Oh, I wonder if those magnets might like say something different now. I should probably look at that before I move on. Nope, same thing. Is that a coffin? Yep. More gears grinding away. Something about a small casket is placed in the middle of the cage. Mm -hmm. Nothing in this place appears to be tuned. Looks like the crank is connected to a mechanism for raising the cage. Anything else to look at before I do that? Doesn't seem to be.
No use. The chain is broken. I'll mm. need to fix it first. The chain looks broken there. Okay, how do I fix it? The chain looks... It has a hard... That combination... That combination... Um... Maybe I'll go back downstairs... Let's go back to the first floor and see if there's anything I missed or anything different. Hmm. What does it seem to be? I didn't hear an imp. I don't even want to th That thing- Maybe I do need to go back in here with the fridge. A jukebox. Let me try one thing real quick. I don't want to throw that in there. I don't want to throw that in- Okay. That action to the body is gone. Nothing else in there. Hopes in jar and inkier heart rule me nemesis. Nothing else. What am I not doing? I mean, I know this makes no sense, but... That action doesn't- Yeah, okay. The chain looks broken there. Is it supposed to be connected to- Looks like the crank is connected to a mechanism for raising the cage. to the first floor again. Oh, I missed. I don't see how those things work together. Wait, did it say, like, was the padlock a separate thing? There are two padlocks here. One requires a key, the other is a combination lock. Okay. Code is near. I'm assuming- oh, I'm sorry, I just hit the microphone. 
I'm assuming that that is the scrapple tiles. Get a pen to write that down. I'm glad I went back and looked at that. Otherwise I would have been wandering around for a long time. Near. Three, two, one, five. I mean, I'm still gonna need a key, so I don't know if this is actually gonna make me be able to progress. Three, two, one, five. Puzzles in this game aren't very hard. The door is sealed with a thick chain attached with a paddle. Okay, move so I can... It's one of the chains which used to... Oh, can I take that? This and padlock might be mm -hmm. useful. I'm going to use it for the cage. I don't think I need to use the chain itself for anything right now. Okay. A single padlock. That's actually gonna work, but we'll see. That should work. Cool. Mm, I don't like this. Indentations from spikes on the cage. A small casket is placed in the middle of the cage. Here goes nothing. Doesn't open, but I can see a keyhole. Okay. Can I use this, maybe? I don't see how those things- No, can I use this? I don't see how those things work together. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to actually work. The scarab is set firmly in the indentation. Now what? No use. I'll need a key. That action doesn't seem productive to me. Oh, it needed to be like busted open, so maybe I can um, make the thing come down. Nothing wrong. I just feel sadness. Part of me does. No, I don't. No, I don't. I have done nothing wrong. You're just here to test me. To try and break me. must be pure. This is a fleeting moment, but I've seen what comes ahead. Who are you? The dweller in the lake. The 
conduit. Lily? I feel like I know her, but something cracks inside. I don't understand any of this. What do you want from me? Only what you want from yourself. Nothing more, nothing less. We are nearing the end. He is ready to see you now. Who is? You know who, Kathy. This is kind of a nightmare. The casket is empty now. First floor. Maybe this fits into... Okay, now what to do with the actual chain? Um... I don't know. I wasn't anticipating having to make that decision. That combination makes no sense. Okay. Maybe I should figure out what I want to attach to the other end before trying to extend the chain. I agree. Let's go in here. One of those chains is attached to the handle. Should remain in place as long as the chain isn't pulled to the right. All right, we should be good to go. I don't really understand Both why Both chains I did have been that. removed from the door. The elevator is... Oh, man. You! You have ruined everything! Why do you hate us so much? What did we ever do to you? This mirror mirror routine is getting tiring. And I'm not afraid anymore. I see you for what you are. You are nothing but a fearful little child and there's nowhere left for you to hide. Now get the hell out of my way. No! You look a bit pale. No, I'm the original, I am. This can't be happening. I'm speechless. That's a first. Okay. No. Who is that? It can't be. Oh. Grandpa! It's so good to see you, Kathy. Don't trust him. Is it really you? You've been here for all this time? It hasn't been that long from my point of view. You look exactly the same. You haven't aged at all. But how is this even possible? You're, you're dead. We buried you. You don't have to worry about that now, Kathy. I've missed you, Grandpa. I wanted to come back so many times. I know you did. I've been watching you every step of the way. I found out how you tried to get me back from Mom and everything. I just wanted you to be safe. I wanted what's best for you. Can I get you out of here somehow? I don't know how all this works. I'm afraid that's not possible. I chose to remain here, so we could meet one last time. But I just got you back. I can't bear to lose you again. You don't need me, Kathy. You never did. You're stronger than you'll ever know. I'm so proud of the woman that you've become. This... this is so unfair. This fucking sucks. I know, darling. I know. But why are you here, then? Is it just... Another test? No, 
The tests are over, Kathy. I'm breaking all the rules just by being here. We have worked so hard to make this happen. You can end the cycle, stop the suffering. This whole place needs to be ripped away, separated. That red fiend has no intention of letting your friend go. The only way to save her is to destroy this place. What do I have to do? You have to finish what I started. Ascend and burn them all. Yes, the red ones above feed this place. Make them lick the flames. That's intense. Hurry, now before he sees us. Wait! Don't go! No, I need to go back the stuff in here. I need to get out of here. Scenes are flashing by on the TV, depicting dogfighting in black and white. Is that it? Oh. <gasps> it's the red man. He knows what I'm up to. Let's get the hell out of here. Ugh, my head. It's like the worst hangover ever. I need to stay focused. Burn them all, Kathy. Burn them all. How do I get out of here? Oh, paint thinner? Oh, the flowers. Okay, paint thinner and then my lighter. That should be enough. And then they're just casually watching television as everything burns. For a long time, do you remember anything? I think Isaac drugged me. I started feeling dizzy and weak. He carried me into the woods. I remember hearing the wind in the leaves and the biting cold. There was a weird, sharp smell in the air, too. I'm not sure what happened next. Things are a bit blurry, but I had a strange dream with a shimmering girl watching over me. It felt like she kept me safe somehow. Then I woke up on this couch. It must have been your guardian angel. I think so too. Well, I'm glad you're okay, E. Things looked scary there for a bit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth told me what happened, how you found me and got Isaac arrested. Yes, about that poor man. The sheriff called. Something happened while you were away. Did he kill himself? Yup. Welcome home, son. Ugh. Guess he finally grew a conscience. I can't help but feel bad for him, despite what he did to me. In a way, he was a victim too. I don't know At if I would say that. At least we stopped him from hurting any more people. I guess this really is goodbye. A stupid part of me thought that if I would find the truth, I could be close to him again. It's not stupid. We all look for love in the strangest of places. It's an inseparable part of human nature. Jeez, when did you become so philosophical, E? I told you, 
I feel different. Yeah, me too. Do you think any of it was real? I don't know, E, but I hope we managed to stop it, once and for all. You know, despite everything, I think we made a half-decent team. Really? You do? Well, except for the part where you got yourself kidnapped. Try not to do that next time, okay? Wait, there'll be a next time? Does that mean there will be a sequel? Well, I guess that's it. I really liked that game. It was not at all what I expected. It was much darker than what I expected. I don't know if I should let the credits play or not. I guess I'll go ahead and let them play in case there's anything after the fact. there would be something. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay.